Hello everybody, CryptoVin here, CryptoVin YouTube channel. Back again with another high mine, uh, GPU mine video. Uh, as always, please subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. That way you get my videos as soon as they come out. It lets YouTube know that uh, you enjoy watching this content. Just getting the channel going, so I appreciate it. Trying to get a video out at least every other day, if not every day. And also, less than two days left on my uh, $25 Bitcoin giveaway. You can find the details of that uh, giveaway in the uh, description of the giveaway video. So today I want to talk about uh, Anonymous Coin and how to GPU mine it. Okay, I'm on their webpage on anoncrypto.io. Anonymous is a cryptocurrency that is crafted to build upon the advances of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency technologies, adding its own distinctive permutations as it evolves. <clears throat> so I'll have the link uh, to the website in the video description. Here's the white paper. I'm just doing a brief overview today. I'm not going to get into the technicalities, the programming of the uh, project. Uh, there's a video here. Uh, you can watch it when you get a chance. It's the founder doing an interview. Okay, real decentralization. Anon uses Equihash, a proof of work algorithm. True anonymity using MIT's tested ZK SNARKs, the most secure privacy protocol to date. So, and I'll leave a link in the description as to what ZK SNARKs is. You can check that out uh, more in depth when you get a chance. A lot of projects use it. A lot of privacy coin projects use it. Community-driven social channels allow ideas crafted by the community to be taken into consideration. Anon, ready for the future, we believe that anonymity is the, in the digital age is akin to freedom. Anon is designed to contribute to individual financial sovereignty and pro, uh, protect transactional privacy in the digital realm. Anonymous proudly provides resources and support for our worldwide community of blockchain pioneers to connect Participate in the crypto sphere and utilize and exchange Anon cryptocurrency. Anon encourages open communication, <clears throat> discussion of strategy and development, collaboration in the general exploration of wider global trends among our supporters and between the teams and supporters of other crypto projects. Here are the exchanges it's on, Stex, Safe Trade, Trade Satoshi, which I believe has un gone under. And Altili. Here are the coin specs, algorithm, Equihash 192.7, 5% first to the super blocks, then of the remaining block, 55% to the miners, 35% to master nodes, and 10% to development and administrative costs. Current circulating supplies, check Explorer, block time two and a half minutes, block reward 12 and a half anons. Next block having every two and a half years. The max total supply is, is low, 20,228,644. Let's check the block explorer to see how much is in circulation. Circulating supply looks like 12,859,582, so real low. Go back to the home page. And it looks like it's, according to this, it's one cent. Coin features proven robust foundation, a fort of Bitcoin and uh, zero, looks like zero classic cryptocurrencies, community driven proof of work, Equihash algorithm being, remaining ASIC resistant, GPU miners, we like that, MIT, MIT ZK Snarks protection, master no governments. The community decides on the use of 10,000 plus anon per month. So they have master nodes. If you're interested, here's the project um, roadmap. Master node collateral increase. Sport capability super blocks part two bounty distribution finalized. First super block created. Zcash vulnerability fix supply audit. A Stex edition, Stex exchange edition mining toolkit. New development lead. So mid to late 2019, they have the wallet. 
increased wallet functionality, algorithm change to Equihash 192.7, block time reduction from 10 minutes to two and a half minutes. Here are the creators. Jake Greenbaum, Sam Abassi, Christopher Arguello. And here is their, looks like Reddit, moral blogs. There's an Echelon update incoming. This was back in November. And that looks like it. So let's go to their Bitcoin talk. As you can see, they have links to the social media, Telegram, a bounty program, YouTube channel, Discord, Reddit. Max total supply of Anon will be 36 million. Reward for block, 35% for masternode, 65% for miners. Let's go back to the homepage real quick. It says here, they're saying the total supply here is 20 million, so I don't know what... There's a discrepancy in that number. So it looks like there needs to be some updating here. The fork of Z Classic, Bitcoin holders, where we've seen anonymous tokens, one zero classic equals two anon, one Bitcoin equals one anon. ZK Snarks protocol, master nodes. It says 500 here, but I think that's gone up. Talk about a fork. Divided into several groups and on team, core developers, founders, consultants, crypto gurus, social networks, journalists, and even lawyers. The main development team is headed by founders of Bushido Lab from Miami. The most famous advisor, Steven Nerevov. I'm not, sorry, I butchered that name. And it goes on to talk about what projects that person's been involved in. So it looks like, uh, let's go to the Discord because I want to talk about it. It looks like people are questioning on whether the project's dead. It says that uh, they're not, but they're currently without a developer. So that person must have left the, the project. And Cryptopia situation not look promising. So I don't know what that's about. But it looks like the project is kind of dormant right now. And I went on their... Telegram, and there's nothing really there to talk about. It looks like the admins are uh, have been on recently or fairly recently. So this is going to be kind of a speculative coin to mine, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, I'm not an expert. I'm not a financial advisor. You want to do your own due diligence. But uh, the supply is low, and... If they ever get if they ever get going again, it might might uh, get the project project uh, going again. It might increase value in the coin. So let's so I'm using Zerg pool. Let's go on to the mining aspect of it. So obviously here I have uh, Zerg pool Equihash one ninety two, and on this is my wallet. You want to replace my wallet with your wallet? And it spits out this command line, and you want to take it from dash dash algo and copy it. And we're going to paste that right into simple mining. As you can see, I'm mining it now, and I know I, I, I added an extra N, I spelled it wrong. Apologize for that. Uh, so let's go to group, group config. You're going to hit add group. I'm using G minor version 1.96. Oops, passed it. Okay, G minor. As you can see, Equihash 192.7. So you know you're on the right minor. In my case, I'm using this. You want to use what's good for you. 
So I replace this with the algorithm uh, in that uh, in Zerg pool here. And group name, I usually put the name of the coin. Again, group description, I put the pool and what miner I'm using in the version. So you can see here, anonymous coin, Zerg pool, my, G miner 1.96. Here's the algorithm, and I'll put this command line in the description of this video. As you can see, anon, that's what you want. You're mining coin equals anon. Here's my wallet address for my um, wallet. Which reminds me, I did not see, so let's go back, because I didn't see a, a link to the wallet that I want to make sure you know. Let's see if there's a link in here. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, here we go, resources. So here are the wallets. Block Explorer, Masternodes, and Mining Anon. So let's go to wallets real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's the wallet. So here's where you want to download it here on GitHub. And there's a frequently asked sections here if you need help with that. So I, I obviously chose Windows 64 wallet for my desktop. So let's go back to some, uh, let's actually look at what it says about mining and on because that's important as this video is a tutorial for mining. So let's see, what do you need? They go over what do you need, your wallet, of course. It looks like they're on Zellcor but I w in Magnum Wallet, but I would verify that before. Hardware and system, a, mi a minimum 1050 Ti graphics card. I'm using Zotac 1060s. Let's see, performance guide for your graphics card. It's asking you to spread the hash around. And you can use, you know, getting into that, you can use whatever pool you want to use. Just take that command line and you're just going to change, you're going to change the, the mining address here after server. The mining pool address is here, but you're going to replace it. You're going to replace the port. Um, everything else pretty much should be pretty much the same. So if you want to spread the hash, if you don't want to use Zerg pool, use what you want to use. I'm just using it for the for ease of this tutorial and for the sake of this mining tutorial. Okay, let's go to rig list. As you can see, I'm mining it. Let's go to the heads up display so I can show you. See, I'm getting jobs and shares are being accepted. It's going into my wallet. Um, so that's gonna be about it. I have it on my Equihash settings and it looks like I'm getting 121.8 souls, which is about what I get, uh, which is, is correct for my overclock settings. You wanna overclock it the way you want to at your own risk, of course. And so that's it. If you have any questions or comments, if I missed something, if you want to add something, please put it in uh, the comment section. If you have a project you want me to look into it, a GPU mine, a review, or just review, just let me know. Uh, again, please subscribe, like, share, appreciate it. Hit that notification bell if you like this content. Uh, if you want to enter my Bitcoin giveaway, it's $25, free to enter. That's going to end in less than two days, so you want to get your entries in. I'll leave a link to that in the video. And that's going to be about it. So I appreciate you watching again, and until next time.